Legend of Total War here with part 3 of my uh, Shogun 2 Rise of the Samurai Let's Play campaign as the, I can never remember what they're called, the Hirozumi Fujiwara clan. Right, so previously we've uh, we actually conquered quite a few settlements. Um, it all sort of began with uh, these guys here. We, I, I took this settlement and then these guys, after a little while, started making their way up to me. And you could tell it was obvious that they were going to plan an attack. But, um, and they're sort of like their, their ally, which everything started just forming up into in like two groups of allies, but they, they were sort of teamed up with the Ashikaga, who were team, double teaming the Satake clan. And then I swooped in and fucking took out the Ashikaga in one fell swoop, and it was, I think it was really good. Anyway, we still have to deal with, um, the Kam, Kamakura Minamoto clan, but they're... Their actual would-be allies, the Kiso Minamoto, have allied with us. But I think they're nearly dead. Let me have a look here. Which is actually perfectly fine by me. They've only got the one region left. So if they die, that's probably for the best because it's a major faction. And the major factions I've found are the biggest dickheads. These guys, of course, are going to be a huge dickhead. But as long as... As long as I really am left alone to fight them, they, they won't win. Because here's the thing. Our agents spam in this. The five of these guys. They just steal back whatever regions are lost. And the great thing is, because we've been focusing so much on our economy, we've got heaps of money to keep bribing settlements. So it's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, cool. So my army here is... A little bit damaged, nothing major. You won't be able to do anything until that's recovered. Hmm. We we need these kind of techs over here. Like if we're going to fight battles, we we need these techs. I've been trying to focus on my economic techs so I can get loads of food, which is, it's coming up. I mean, the more regions you have, the more food you can get, which which helps. You know, I need to repair this. What's this? A school? We don't really need that. Like it does help, don't get me wrong. It's just I would prefer to uh, to really go ham on the on the food supply. So that also needs to be upgraded. So this one here, upgrade this. Try and get these uh these towns upgraded before um before they conquer it. Now these guys, these ones here, they could take either of these settlements. Let me just check here. Okay, yeah, we can leave it on those high tax rates here. Yeah, destroy the school. No point. Upgrading this right now because he he get basically gets to take his pick of whichever settlement he wants to smash. But for some reason, this I don't know they're dicking around when it comes to taking the settlements, which is fine by me. It gives me more time to recruit more troops. We've got another near full stack over here. Give him another archer, and then I don't know. We'll we'll see how we go with that. We're also at war with these guys. We should come down here. How many regions do they have? So I'm at war with just those two. So that's the the Shiba and the Kamakura Minamoto. So look at the Shiba. They've got two regions. Now they're not a major clan, so we could steal both of them all at once. But we're going to have to wait a little while before that's um before that's fifty percent. So these guys here, the Kitabake, are they at war with with my would-be ally? And I say would-be ally because you can't trust them. Yeah, so they're probably going to get wiped out by the look of it, because if that's all they've got left... But that's okay, I really don't mind. Alright, so let's have a look here. Yep, that's got one more turn, that's going to give us a big boost in the economy. Let's see if we can get some money out of them. Meetings because... with friends are always a pleasant diversion. No. What has... God. So my main concern on this episode will be wiping out... Essentially wiping out the Minamoto, including them, but I don't have to do anything about that. They'll just die due to their own wars. It's probably why they tried to so desperately to get me as an ally. 
which is fine by me. How strong are the Kitabake? So they've got six regions. So they're they're probably not going to be too happy with me. But they're not a major clan, so I don't think I have to worry too much. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're all accounted for. I don't know if I should bother building that because it's just not going to get finished. Now, the funny thing is, is, if I had left that rice paddy going, we probably would have actually finished it by now. Because for some reason they lifted the siege there. It didn't make any sense. They're not complaining, but still. Let's get some more wood. Got to increase their monies. Especially now that the, the bloody pirates, right? They... they Kicked me off of the um, the trade post over here. I certainly made a profit from the whole thing, but they've got like a, a really large pirate stack here. So I don't know what to do about that. All right, let's move on. I just haven't really had a chance to to really build up my navy yet, but they didn't do anything again. It's weird. Like, usually the AI in Shogun 2 is quite aggressive, but for some reason these guys are being really dumb. I mean, don't get me wrong, not complaining. It benefits me. I mean, they can take those settlements off me. At virtually no cost to them, but they haven't done it yet. Another thing is that I've also got quite a few allies now. Now, that can be a bit of a du double-edged sword, because as much as allies can back you up in battle, they can also drag you into wars you really don't want. Oh man, my income went really high because of the uh, reduced administration costs, so that's great. No, well I don't... I don't even use them anyway, so it just it's not worth the money. Okay, so now this one, the public order's gone back to shit. Really need to keep an eye on this. So, I need to exempt it from taxation. I mean, eventually it's going to go away, but it just needs some time. I've also got a unit in here as garrison. We could recruit another one, because that would actually pay for upkeep costs. But that being said, just exempt it for taxation this time, just to be safe. Don't... We've still got plenty of money coming in. So, they bought us enough time to recruit yet another unit over here. Which is good. These guys have been getting some... Getting a bit of their replenish. Another thing is that, of course, I've got a very trashy army. Um, and their army is full of samurai. Now, even though the samurai only have 60 men in a battalion, they're still really tough. Like, their stats are just off the charts compared to Naginata Levy. Also, that's a fort there. I wonder... I'm interested to see exactly how, how well we can defend a fort. Another archer. Okay, so from here on out, we can get good archers from here. And the difference... Look at the difference, like 28, the, what's the base for them? 15, so it's nearly twice as high. That's really good. And we can make it even higher. But we'd have to, of course, make sure we don't lose the region. But it's not under any threat right now. But yeah, that would actually make our archers a hell of a lot better. Okay, uh, let's see, what else do we need? Well, we're certainly going to want to protect this region. So yeah, go ahead with that. Okay, public order is pretty good. How about you just stay in there for the time being, because I really need, need that stuff. You don't need to stay here anymore, because we've got full sight over the province. Out of curiosity, if we came down here, why couldn't we do that? Influence is low, but it should be going up because their allegiance is to the Fujiwara. I mean, they are allies, but... 
Hang on, have I, have I given them military access? Because I want them to come and help me. Yeah, I want them to come and help me um, take out these guys, which they don't really look like they're that capable of doing that at the moment. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, so just come in here. Because we want to get you over here, so we can take some of their other regions. I think they've only got two regions left. Yeah, they got they got this one here and Izu. Okay, we're pretty much out of cash. We could take this, you know, if we had the money. But um, it, we, we would be so much better off if we just took both of these at the exact same time and just finished them off that way. For some reason, they've made no real attacks towards us. So, oh, did did those those fuckers got wiped out? Probably, probably for the best. Okay, so the Kitabake, let's have a look at them. Let's start dealing with them. So, alliance with enemy clan. Well, it's going to take 54 turns before they forgive that. It's not like I went to war with them. I am here to listen. When you have spoken and spoken in honesty, I will give a proper response. Try to get some cash out of them. Okay, that'll do it. Because I don't intend to go to war with them right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, if they if they declare war on me, which is possible, maybe even likely, we'll, we'll bring it to them. Well, we've got to deal with this guy here first. Out of curiosity, could we get a peace treaty, though? I will listen, but my Minamoto heart aches to see your blood spilt. Just out of curiosity, no. They were, they're uh, out for blood. They're, their power is considered strong. That's because they've got two armies. I really only have... Yeah, well, my armies are trash, that's why. Now, this one over here, if we were to use a double stack of two, two stacks of trash, we probably could take him out with an auto-resolve, which might actually be the best way. I mean, I'm sure some people would be like, oh, just fight the battle manually, you noob. But... You know, when you, you want to be fighting battles manually when you've got good units, and we're just not at that stage yet. Don't get me wrong, we will get some eventually, but we've got to build up the infrastructure first to support it. They don't need to build up their infrastructure because they get everything handed to them on, on a silver plate. Alright, well, we got a bit of money. This region looks like it's going to be relatively secure for the time being. And anyway, if they start making their way over here, we can always just cancel the construction. Actually... We would be much better off building this. Because if they fought us here while we're out in the field, that would be very bad. Actually, we shouldn't be staying inside the settlement. Just exempted from taxation. Um, because it'd be good if our guys came in to back them up, but. Like, if, if he was to turn around over here, like, it doesn't say that he can make it, so I don't know. What if you were to just stand right there? I don't think it blocks them at all. Yeah, they just walk right past it. Um, bit of a double standard, because I can't seem to do that. See, if we were to see how it walks around that enemy agent, and they just get to walk right through it. Okay. So yeah, we want to conti uh, continue healing. It looks like it's just one more turn. But I would really like to get the good quality archers. So once that's been done, can we... Let, let's see here. The uh, the encampment. I need to look at the wiki. Is there someone with an empty build slot? I'm pretty sure there is somewhere. Yeah, here. Okay. Check the encampment. Okay, there's the armory, the hunting lodge, proving grounds. Check out the... See, this provides extra accuracy to all units recruited in the province. So if we were to provide this region with with that as well, that would mean plus 26 extra accuracy, which is very much considerable. It's a lot. Because we want them to be as good as we possibly can make them. So this is as high up as it will go. Because if that's, yeah, if that's plus 26 to accuracy, that's it's nearly three times 
as much accuracy. And then when it comes down to, you know, getting the, the bow samurai, we'll get them from there as well. Well, I don't know, maybe I should get bow samurai from... Because they already have heaps of accuracy, but have get get them the better armor and stuff. Because their armor is already pretty high. I don't know, we're, we're still figuring these things out. Alright, any diplomatic deals? Nope. So, most of my money is still coming in through trade. Well, actually, no, it's not. Wait, what the fuck? Value of exports this much, but it says here trading comes only that. I don't know. Maybe some of that's actually included in tax income. And also some of these things are you know, blockaded. Probably thanks to them. I, I really should sort, sort them out. But we're going to... Okay, I'm going to destroy this. We're going to build a military port. We're going to take out the pirates with some samurai ships. And then we'll re-establish ourselves on that trade route. And then establish ourselves out over here as well. But the problem with the pirates is that you get rid of the pirates and then more just spawn. And they're so fucking elusive. Okay, let's move on. You just end up tanking all of your money right into... Um, Damn, Mountain Samurai. Um, putting all your money into a navy it just negates the fact of even having anything. Okay, so they're going after this now. Alright, so it's a fort battle. So we've got an upgraded fort. Now, if they win this, we can just take it straight back off them anyway. Okay, so there's extra defenses. I wonder if we'll be able to get some towers as well. They don't do a lot of damage, but um, it'd be interesting to see. Still, I'm pretty sure we'd want to just be fighting in this area here, because that's the only one we get on the mental morale. However, they'll have to spread themselves out a bit more thin, and they'll they'll come at this area in waves. And maybe if the samurai out here, they, they'll have to actually climb up to here to, to get into it, to get to shoot us. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look. Yeah. So we get we get two fort towers. Still doesn't look like it's um, particularly favourable, but that doesn't matter. Because even if they win this battle, we'll just bribe the settlement back. So everyone stays over here, because in there they just won't have high enough morale. Alright, um, well we don't know where they're going to be coming from. And I don't have a lot of archers. That being said, the archers really not a high priority. Alright, we'll just stick with that, let's go. Another thing is that if they capture these towers, actually I'll tell you what we should do. If they capture the tower, the, the tower will fire back at us. Maybe when they start to get close, we should actually burn down the tower ourselves. That way when they're here, they can't rec why would they recruit? There's, I mean, they're only going to recruit trash anyway, so it's fine. I don't know. Well, that's actually shooting a lot. It's not doing a hell of a lot of damage, but still, anything's better than nothing. A little bit of a concern, though, is if um, if they capture that, yeah, that'll be very bad. I tell you what, let's. Yeah, because taking out their foot samurai would be a big deal. Okay, everyone get down here. We're gonna we're gonna try and capture, try and defeat this section here because they're all trying to climb up. Getting them into melee is the best way to beat them. You can't can't beat them in a skirmish. You need to stay up here just for the time being. But also, the main thing is I don't want them capturing this. As long as our guys don't break, we should be fine. They shouldn't break because they're not not massively outnumbered. See, they're already shaken. That's good. Because I'm using overwhelming numbers against them. 
Do not let General them capture this. In grave danger, my lord. Do not let them capture it. These guys here aren't doing anything. Get them over over here so they can just fire, fire down on them. They'll probably end up capturing this one. I only see two banners here. Where's the third? Because they sent three up here. Look at this, we broke them. Run them all down. How about you come over here? That they're majorly dicking around. Do not let them escape. We we'll just have to fight them another day. All right. Well, that's that's a job well done. Get back up here now. So they're capturing that. So that's going to start firing it off. But still, even just what we've done here, that's that sort of made it worth it. Now, is this tower going to fire at us? Yeah. So we're going to want to stay out of its range. So let's move back. It does a lot of damage. How are you guys going for kills? Jack shit. I mean, they're not going to be wiped out, but it's going to take them a long time to heal, though. Right, come over here. Attack the Naginata Levy. Because they're already fairly damaged. So up here, we, we have to, we'll have be fighting to the death. Try and kill as many of them as we can. I mean, the balance of power is actually not too bad, but the problem is those samurai are gonna, they're going to be a big pain in the ass wherever they are. I mean, we already took out three of them, so that's good. Who knows, maybe there's a chance we might actually win this. It all just depends on how many of them that break. Our entire unit has perished, my lord! Well, they brought the foot samurai up here. Fantastic. Because as long as they're not shooting us, we can actually fight back. Okay, these two here, I want them to stand back and uh, try and shoot the enemy wherever possible. We might actually win this. So yeah, forts are definitely way better, way easier to defend than um, strongholds. Look at this. Make, make sure they shatter. It's a match now. Come out down here, I want to recapture this. Where's the rest of their troops? This surely isn't all of them. Okay, I want you to come back over here. Mounted samurai coming in. So yeah, I want to come back over here and capture this. Shit, I'm going to do it one at a time. All of their guys are running away. Yeah, obviously I want, want to be shooting them. Now if they ever come back, they'll at the very least they'll be really tired. Okay, capture this. Don't don't go out of the fort, stay in the fort, but just don't just stay within this area here. Okay, you guys can stop that now. Stop moving around. Stop that. So you lot, come in here. Hold, hold it. Stay out here. Try and recover your fatigue, because they can break from this section here. Put 
deploy it over here because we want to shoot at their mounted samurai. Do they have any other units? And there's always a chance these guys are going to come back. Nicely in our favour. Okay, the bells just resort to a skirmish now. So they're, they're starting to send guys back up here. But the thing is, they've got to climb back up. They're going to lose more men every time they come up here. There's, there's two layers of defences. So yeah, this, this is a godsend, this fort. I'm glad I built it. Because we would not have beat these guys out in the field, even with, with our main army. Defending is just so much easier. I hate to say it, but that's just the case. My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! Try and kill that general if you can. But if you can't, I mean, they just, they'll just replace it with someone else. stuff. I mean, we can keep, yeah, just shoot them a little bit. Just, obviously, we can't chase them down. Alright, there we go. Now, I wonder if I lost any of the units that I had actually recruited. I didn't even have a full stack in there, either. So that was Bow Levy Garrison, so that'll come back. The overall damage is pretty minimal. They got fucked up big time. That's very bad for them. Now I can justify sending my army to go finish them off. What the hell are those guys doing? Usually whenever I see ships with troops on them, I just assume they're coming for me, especially if they're heading towards me. Even if they haven't necessarily declared war just yet. You, you cannot trust them, especially with major factions as well. You gotta be suspicious. Don't trust them. So we lost the province of Musashi, but we can get that back immediately. Did they loot it? No, they just occupied it. Okay, well. Like I said, I could send them in there to attack this, but I'm a bit concerned by these guys here. However... We can, of, of course, just go buy that straight back. So this province now has public order issues. Why is that? No, oh, because it's not, it's not fully Fujiwara. Um... Okay, well it's not going to revolt this turn, so we're, we're okay. Well, it, has, it makes a lot of money here. Then again, I invested a lot into it, so... Jeez, when it's, not, when it's exempt from taxation, that's... Look at that increase, that's really good. Alright, so we finished... Finish that. T oh, right, I forgot to switch that over. I don't don't need another twenty percent reduction just yet. We need access to. I think the new new irrigation would be best. Then again, what about military? We, well, we seem to kick their ass anyway. Then again, one extra defense over here. It only takes three turns. Just get it. Alright, let's just take that back. It only costs a thousand. 
make them have to come back here and get it. Can you at full strength? Pretty much. Yeah, I want to stay clear from that. I mean, that is a full stack. Also, they probably would have taken some damage from attrition as well. Not that that would have made a big deal. Difference. Okay, you go in there. Okay, the dam the, the settlement's not not fully recovered though. Just because we beat them. The thing is he might come over here next turn. And attack us. So let's let's get a few more archers, because I think they're actually quite useful in these. In these settlements. And um see so how we go with that. So what do we need? Bushido. Yeah, we're ages away from that, but that would be very useful for us. Alright, what do we do next? Like I said, if we could somehow get this guy to sneak around here and just go straight for their regions, straight for, straight for these ones here, we could wipe them out without having to fight their armies. Better that these guys just fight my garrisons and just get bogged down with that. Because he's this army is not designed for fighting them out in the field. It's there for finishing off remnants, really. So, I want you to come down here and just hide. If anything, maybe we could ambush them. If they were to come up this way, which they probably won't. So yeah, a few damaged units still take a little while to replenish. Where did their other troops go? I just need to make sure we keep track of them. So these guys here, the Kitabake, are they at war with them as well? They're at war with the Shiba. Okay, if they take this region, then we can just take South Shiano and then just be done with it. Sorry, North Shiano, that's South Shiano. Sorry, Shinano. But wait until that's their last region, so we just make them disappear straight away. And I want you to come over here so you can start spreading influence, but, you know, I had to take that back. Building this right now is not a good idea. I do want to build here. But, you know, you can only, only spend so much every turn. Alright, let's build that military port. Because, like I said, we want to get rid of those fuckers. We'll have plenty of money to spend next turn as well. Good, that's going away. That'll never go away. But that's okay. I'll be glad once the Shiba are gone. It should really increase my income. Because they're blockading my ports. Okay, I can't see anything else we need to do. Well, let's move on. So this is kind of what we want them to do, because uh, this settlement means nothing to me. It's just about distracting them. Alright, I need to keep track of that army, because I reckon they're coming for me. That's, it just seems too obvious. They're threatened by my growing power. But the thing is, them sending an army over to me could actually be a good thing for us, as, if, as long as we actually get rid of them. So they're close to Izu. If they if they lose that army, that weakens their position. That looks like they're already at war with heaps of other factions. Maybe they'll the other factions will take the advantage and take a few regions off them, weakening them. Like I said, it is a good thing for the major factions to go, because they're the only ones we can't wipe out just with agents. Everyone else would just annex them straight away. Like, if, if there's a five settlement faction, a faction that's got five regions, you could literally take them out in one go. The odds are actually in your favor, as long as it's, you know, above 50% um, percent influence. Which doesn't take too long to get. Alright, 
Alright, so regions out here will need to be exempt. That's okay, they don't make much money anyway. So we could once again just retake that. I mean, he's standing right there. What, what are you doing? You can come in and help? You can call that help. But still, any damage you do to them is appreciated. They recovered fully. I guess we didn't do any damage to them over on the battle. Now, I could send my, my garrison out to finish them off, because, you know, obviously they're doing some damage to us here, which isn't really a big deal. And did they end up taking the settlement? They did, which means let's finish them off. It could turn them into a vassal, but fuck them, I don't like vassals. The upside in getting a vassal, though, is um, extra honor. Why is there resistance to occupation here? Oh, because we took, we took, oh, we took some of their foot samurai, right? Well, just exempt it from. Oh shit! Public order is really bad here, actually. Right, we need you to come back here and oversee the settlement. That'll fix the public order up. If we can get rid of all of this influence, and that'll, that'll really help. Upgrade this so that the. Yeah, get it under control. So these guys here, I reckon they're going to be the next next big thing to have to deal with. So let's see, the, the Kitabake, they're indifferent towards us. They have seven regions. Quest well, Alliance. I will mm, to your words let's see. Do not... No. I mean, if they take this region, they take it. Doesn't really matter. Seeing what we could possibly get over here. Yeah, see that that's what I want. I don't really need this because I don't I don't really do a whole lot of robbing. So here we go with that. The problem here is that if we send them out to go chase them them away, they're not going to get any recovery, and also they could send us on a wild goose chase. But just the garrison alone should be able to beat it. So let's give it a shot. Because they didn't go too far. Son of a bitch. The thing is they're completely stuck now. There's no way out for them. And the other one's too far away to get here in time. I mean, this is this is no longer really a frontier settlement, except for these guys here. Like, I don't fully trust them. So the question here, do we take this or not? Okay, I want you to come down here. Look, I don't think there's any point in taking it this turn. Come over here. We need to find a way past this army here to get into their main territory. Attacking them head-on is not the way, but they're going to move around a little bit, so we'll, we'll try and figure something out. But these guys here, they're as good as dead. Guess we could build a school there. I don't know. Oh, uh, worry about that later. Need money first. Okay, upgrade this will give us more experience for ship recruits. And a bit of extra money, that's good. Let's grab that. And there goes all of our cash. Okay, that's all good. Public order is improving here. Yeah, as soon as all this is gone, we can disband these ships. In fact, we can get rid of one of them now. 
I'll just leave it there just in case. In case something bad happens. Because we want to be able to keep taxing. Because look at that. Even on normal taxation, this place makes heaps of money. So that's good. Alright, moving on. Okay, I thought they might try and do that, and that's fine. That's why I didn't build on the region. Because we can easily just capture that back. Hopefully they didn't loot it, though. Because that always does long-term damage to the thing. I keep forgetting to have a look at what they're up to. Yeah, that doesn't even surprise me. They took out their enemies and then come straight for me. Call in my allies. They don't show up. That's okay. At least we the Daisuke do. It. That's really good. Well, finish that one off. Oh man, see, we really want to make use of that um, that tech. We only get it for six turns, so let's make use of it. We can come back and finish that off later. So yeah, now we actually need to send someone down here to go and capture all their settlements. Okay, we, we got to make sure we stay far enough away from them that they can't reach us. But also, got to be making progress into their settlements. If we recapture this, they'll be forced to retake it. They looted the settlement. So that means there's no town wealth there now. I don't want them hanging around over here. If anything, I want them to go and actually finish off the, the Satake. Let me just check that. They're actually at war with each other. Yeah, they are. What's your chances of actually delaying him? 57% chance. Alright, do it. Fucking cunt. Whatever. God, I, I swear, every single time I've used these... That failed me, even with that was reasonably good odds. Right, right, let's finish this. Oh, you you gotta be shitting me. Come on, that's bullshit. Alright, it looks like you're gonna have to come down here and deal with this. Make sure that they're completely pincered here. I mean, we had them cornered and then just whoops, slipped right past. You gotta be careful as well, because these guys might come down here. I can't lose this settlement. Well, I can. I just bribe it back. Okay, which one? That one's cheaper, but that one would have more. Hang on, we got to see where where are those other guys. These guys here. Yeah, look at this. This is, looks obvious that they're going to make an attack somewhere. Problem is, where? Um, it's only one ship. What we should do is recruit a few ships out here, just some cheap, cheap shit, so that we can catch them. I mean, if they land them here, that's not really a big deal, but I'm worried if they come up to here. That'll still be like one or two turns away. They're not coming to Hitachi. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just sink their entire fleet, because I reckon they're coming straight for us. This is it's obvious. If they come up to here, there's only me up this way. Like I said, it's obvious. Alright, well, I've got the money. Look, let's, let's bribe this again. Because I want to keep them in this area. So I'm not going to repair this, because I expect that they're just going to take it straight back off us. If they want to loot it again, that's that's their prerogative. Let's increase the taxes. K 
Can you distract him? That's, that's, that's fine. So over here, 30% Fujiwara. We can start taking that shit soon. Because, yeah, fighting him out in the open is not going to be good for us. Alright, still got a bit of money. What do we want to invest in? Let's get the barter exchange here. Upgrade the rice patties. Good. 20 food helps. I mean, if you think about it now, so if we've got 13 regions, it's 20 times 13. So, what's that like? 260 extra wealth per turn coming into, you know, all my regions on average. Well, and then not, that's excluding the, um, the outtake as well, which is pretty high. Well, I've got no more money, so I can't really do anything about that. Ooh, we ambushed them. The problem is that the, uh, the the strength of our force is not particularly good. Our guys would break in the middle of a fight in this. Like if if we had all bow levy, uh, sorry, all all naginat levy, I'd probably. Ooh, this is risky as hell. Look, if we lose some of these units, it really doesn't matter. But this is a good opportunity to really do some damage to them. And it's not every day I get a chance to ambush them. But basically, we just need to close in on them, especially their cavalry, try and catch their cavalry as, uh, as soon as possible. Even our archers may need to get into melee. So of course we'll need to try and surround them. If we can kill their general, it'll make all the difference. Can't even see how they're deployed. I mean, we just did put an ambush on them. Alright, whatever. So we're going to want to... Yeah, just charge straight for them. Hopefully we can catch their cavalry in the pincer. Their infantry aren't going to be able to escape so easily. And pincering them will make a big difference, that's for sure. Now if their cavalry come over here and chase chase after our bow leaving, that doesn't really matter too much. Maybe I'll just keep keep one of them behind here. Just in case the cavalry want to come into melee. So they'll be in range, just about off the get-go. I'm not used to doing ambushes in this, so I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Alright, go. Get in there. Get him. Fucking destroy their mounted samurai. Destroy their general's bodyguards. Get in there. Yeah, our, our guys are the ones that are bloody breaking here. If things don't don't look, look like they're going well, we'll just withdraw. Like I said, I wasn't particularly confident. Just because it's an ambush doesn't necessarily mean we're likely to win, because their, their fold, fold soldiers are just way better. Regardless of the case, we're doing a lot of damage to him. To his, like, high-powered units. Rally them. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! So look at this, they're fighting cavalry, but they just... They're just doing a shit job of it. Yeah, we're losing. Okay, I figured we'd lose. 
You should get the fuck out of here. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. Yeah. But like I said, we we lose the battle, but it helps us to win the war because we did a lot of damage on units that would not have otherwise faced us in the fight. Get out of here. Leave. And hopefully, like, hopefully we didn't lose any battalions. Because they, they were routed so damn quickly. If we didn't lose any battalions, then... We can... Just, we'll just heal over time. Not a, not a surprising result, though. Because just because you're doing an ambush attack doesn't mean that you have increased oh, morale. Failing, my lord. Yeah. The battle is almost done! It just it came down to unit qualities and morale. They're just the morale. If if they had held the morale, maybe it would have worked a bit better. Also, with uh, they were able to spread out, even though we were ambushed, they just moved straight away. Okay, so we lost two units of Naginata Levy. That's no big deal. Hopefully we did some, some damage to them though, because now i got to get that army out of there. Another general, um, sure, why not? I mean, I can afford it. Okay, so this one has public order issues. Now, getting him out of here, that's that's going to be the hard part. Now, we, we need to send him back over this way. We actually got some healing over the end turn, and in fact, so did he, it seems. It seems to me, actually, well, no, we definitely took out some of his units. We need to, we need to capture this. So he didn't take this region. Like I was kind of hoping you would. Let's recapture this. Declines allegiance. Well, luckily we get a second chance. That way he takes attrition. So let's have a look here. It would really help if he had more command, but he hasn't really had a lot of opportunities to make some good attacks. Alright, um... What do we need? Just exempt that from taxation. I don't want any problems with it. I'm surprised I didn't take it back. How much is that gonna cost to repair? Fine, whatever. It's nothing. It's a good opportunity, actually, to get some more archers. I fully expect they're going to run away, but now we've caught them. Sure, why not? Got the money. Now you can move over here. You're, you'll defend this garrison. And you can just and stick around. So this guy here, he's going to come through us here. And unless you can distract him, that's not going to happen. Um, just cancel that. As if they're not going to attack us. Okay, I don't think we need our guy over here anymore. Bring him in here. Come down here. We might need, um, we should probably call on this one, actually. Okay, if you could distract him again, that would be... Well, as in if you could... Attempt to actually succeed this time, that would be good. Fucking hell. Because if we can keep him stuck here, 
then um, he won't be able to take this region. We'd, uh, we'd have him. So yeah, hard to know if going ahead with that ambush was actually a good idea, but we did do a lot of damage to his very powerful units. The, the thing that we didn't win against was their infantry. I was really hoping my gods would last a little bit longer, but they just don't have any morale. So what are we doing now? Okay, these guys here. See, I don't know what kind of ship this is. We could bring them back to here, recruit one more ship, but will two light ships take on one of whatever the fuck these are? Because that's the thing, we can't let this army get to wherever it's going. Can't tell. Alright. Let's just see. So the Fukuhara Taira. It, there's no downside in declaring war on them, except that we lose a trade partner, but they're obviously coming straight there for us. There are matters of state that need attention. What inconvenience do So the, those other guys are no longer our allies. Taira. Don't call the Daisuke in. Oh, their allies are... Still, they're coming straight for us. We don't have a choice. What was that? Doesn't matter. Okay, so... Send him in. Shit, so what kind of ship is it anyway? It's a trade ship. They sent a fucking trade ship with a, with a, a navy in it. And I was worried. It's hard to imagine though, I have like several thousand men on a single trade ship. I'll take that ship actually, I'm gonna capture it. This is a clear indication we're going to need a bigger navy. Because it, we're silly to think that this is only going to be the, the only time they'll send something at us. They will, they will come back. But still, they're going to lose their entire army on this. Also, we went to war with a bunch of people that we don't even share a border with, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much. I mean, they will send forces at us, but what can I say? They would have joined the war when they declared war on them anyway. Anyway, luckily I have some allies. Well, one ally left the dice here, which I didn't drag into this. It's harder to hit a moving target, but... It's not exactly moving very fast. Let's board them. I'd be so annoyed if we actually lose this. Because all I have to say is fucking legendary difficulty. Naval combat isn't this. Come on, shoot them. It's, just, it's so stupid that you tell them the board, they won't do it. Okay, well, we're gonna win, so that's good, but I wanna make sure we capture this ship.
Good, because if it just ran away again, that's no good for us. We need to capture it to make sure. Because you can't sink their ships, you can't ram into it or anything like that. So I'll take the ship, and um, that way their entire army gets executed. And they lose everything. Good. Send them back over here for repairs. It'll be a while before they send anything else at us. So th we're just at peace with them. So since we're just at peace with them, I'll send, I'll send them over here to, uh, to just annex them if they're if they're not going to be of any use to us. Actually, hold off on them for one more turn because, in one turn, we'll have an increased plus seven accuracy. Which helps a little bit. Yeah, we're a while away from getting the encampment, but that's what I'll build here. Alright, so I've got a bit of money. What are we going to do with it? Yep, upgrade our food stores up here. So I don't think these guys need any more troops here. That'll hold them out for the time being. He could really use another victory. He's, he's been actually quite unlucky. I said at the beginning of this I wanted to turn him into Alexander the Great, but he... I mean, he's lost a battle, so that's not going to happen. Level 1 general. So at least at least these guys here aren't going to be able to replenish because they're really strong. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, what are we doing? We got any military ports here? All right, nothing else to do. Let's move on. Oh, I should have gone to diplomacy and checked for um. Called. I suppose I didn't take it. Check for uh, uh, trade agreements. So the Tyra look like they've got quite a large navy. cancelled that. Still, these guys here are in pretty bad shape, but I you know, just want to resolve it. So now they're taking on the Daisuke, which is fine by me. Let them do that. I don't need any allies. But they were useful to just, you know, distract them as long as possible. And I'll just recapture that settlement so it's no big deal. Once the, once the enemy army has left the area, that is. I don't even know who they are. Um, I'll drag the uh, Daisuke into it. Good. They're turning out to be pretty faithful allies. But now we've got a loads of... Wait, succession. So you're now the Daimyo, is that right? Yes, you are. Minus 20 diplomatic relations. Why is that? Because impolite. Oh, oh well. You need some time to rest. So these ones here. Yeah, it still shows silver because there's... Um, we still need a little bit to get to gold. But still, plus 37, that's really good. Get yourself back up at full strength, and then you'll hand it back over here. So they did some raiding, essentially in their own region. And this army here took... Um, 
attrition so they, they couldn't move. Now, like I said, since these guys here are of no further use to me, we should just annex them. High cost. Doesn't matter, just do it. Okay, we can recruit some good units from here. We could, we could actually get some foot samurai. But look at that cost, 183. Like, it's just... Like, yeah, like, if we had bow samurai in there, we would have probably won that battle. But at the same time, it would it have been worth winning it? That's the problem. Anyway, I already said we're going to get, like, better units from other regions. Like, this one here is just got an iron mine, so get rid of this. I mean, if, if you're going to get the best units, make sure they've got the best equipment. Buddhist Sanctuary, Barracks, yeah, knock that down. Alright, just leave that as it is. Public order here, should be fine. over here need to repair these ships. So how many regions do I have now? 14. Cool. Despite losing that one. I mean we could take that back right now, but what's the point? They'll just, they'll just take it straight back off us. This one over here, we're about one turn away before we can claim it. They'll probably recapture the settlement, but that's that's okay. I mean, most of this was just a distraction anyway. Actually, speaking of distractions, distract him. Good. Can you please level up? So he's not going anywhere. But the thing is, if this one here attacks, he'll reinforce. And since we have no, no uh, stronghold here, that's not going to work for us. It's a good thing we got loads of money coming in, though. I think their days are numbered. Let me see if they'll accept the peace treaty. I will no, listen. Forget it. It doesn't matter anyway. All right, let's let's see here. Get some trade agreements. I. That's fine. I need my trade agreements. Good. So two turns away from that. That'll be useful. There's a lot of useful shit in there that I need. Now what am I doing with you? I could send you over here to try and claim this. Or maybe come to Kai. Could you come and have a look at this? The thing is I kind of like using these agents because just because it, it leaves no resistance to uh, occupation. Because like, this someone here which we conquered, that'll always have the resistance to invaders there. And although it's only minus one, the, the larger we get, the bigger these penalties will start to get. It just makes it so much easier if, if we just don't have that. So maybe I could use him to actually take out that army. Because that's, that's nothing special in there. Plus they're pretty badly damaged. If we, if we did capture this, they wouldn't be able to replenish. And it doesn't cost much, so let's just do it. Stopping them from replenishing, I think, is a is a worthy cost. So yeah, I want you to come over here because I don't think the uh, the Daisuke are going to. S well, actually, they, they'll be able to handle it. But yeah, just bring them over here anyway. All right. Well, that goes all of our money. Yep, it'll be some time before we see those dickheads again. So how many wars have we got going on now? Oh my god. 
I wanted to really keep wars to a minimum, but this is what happens. We're at war with an undisco undiscovered clan. So one, two, three, four, five, seven wars. We're at war with all remaining major clans. So these these guys have got five regions. All right, and the other one, they've only got two, so they're not they're not too weak. But then again, we're our only yet the only enemies of theirs, so bit of a problem. All right. Let's move on. Fuck, they actually lost. Which is fine with me because all allies are future enemies anyway. And the bigger these guys get, the easier it will be to actually beat them. Sort of. That's great, we're not really recruiting a lot right now, but nice to know. Okay, drop this. See, that's not going away, that resistance to invaders is now at minus two. So over here, we should still be recruiting one more unit. You know, it might actually be better if we, considering the difference in, in accuracy, which is a huge difference, um, it might be better if we just like disband some of these trash over here just to get more of them, because same upkeep cost, but make them a lot better in battle. Okay, can you possibly distract him again? Good, level up. Just keep him eternally distracted. And you know what? If that's the case, like, I don't really, don't really care about these guys up here. Send, send him down this way. Hang on. Take this one on. And kill their two settlements out this way. In fact, we'll be able to convert this one soon enough. Maybe just bypass that and go straight for here. They looted the settlement. They'll probably be back here, but that's fine. Could we capture this now? Yes, we could. Why not? Doesn't cost us anything. Yeah, you stay there. Keep an eye on them. So I want to know if there are any other armies are coming through here. This could make for another good recruiting settlement there, actually. So we want to keep the barracks there. And probably the bushy dojo. <laughs> so as long as he's distracted, you'll just be able to bypass right past them. And... Um, conquer these settlements. Uh, probably best we just annex them, because um, if we're building up barracks, it's not going to be good for public order, so we won't want resistance to invaders, even if it is their capital. Okay, I want you to stay here. You come over this way to increase our influence. So it's currently going up to 29.5%. Sitting you in there would bring it up to... Thirty-four point four. So that's a, that's a big increase. Yeah. Keep keep them raiding. 
Like, I don't really care that much if they take the settlement, I just don't want them to. Alright, what are we doing now? Well, we don't have a... We've got a bit of money, what are we going to spend it on? Keep building up our economy, of course. So over here, where we've got a pretty nice tax income. We go with more gold mine. But that would be better for long-term growth. Because of the extra food, and also the, the per turn wealth from town growth. It's also a lot cheaper. I don't think there's any point upgrading that because they're, they're probably just going to come straight back down here and kill us. Are these guys actually the Kitabaka? Are they Fujiwara? Let me check this. Yeah, their alliance is to um, Fujiwara, so that would make them actually very easy to, uh, to capture in most places. We'll see if we can get a peace treaty with them. Actually, no. So, Nobody ever wants to accept peace in this. Not until their armies have been totally obliterated, and there's no point actually showing them any mercy. All right, we're good here. Let's move on. Okay, yep. Funny thing is, if we research that, it would help with our actions of distracting enemy agents. And since we are doing that a fair bit now, maybe we should get it. I still want all this other stuff. Alright, let's, let's grab, get that. Especially given this army right here. Good. Okay. All points into being distracting enemy generals. So that's one extra charm for that. Where else do we get points into it? This is this here. Put two points into that. Good. So next time, hopefully, it increases to, I don't know, 70, 80%, whatever it's needed. Keep him seduced. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be able to catch us this turn. We need to, need to bypass him here because if he attacks us, we're, we're fucked. The, the, the army has got too many good quality units. We just bypass here. Don't worry, we don't want to attack this settlement here because this settlement is going to be annexed. We're just going to march into Izu and that'll finish them off. If he can be distracted for a couple more turns, then that's it. We've got him. Good if he was here just to give that little bit of extra influence. Alright, so this is a turn in which we can increase taxes. Got to get their monies. So they didn't send anything at us, which is good. Oh yeah, I, did, I said I didn't want this here. Let's just get rid of that. Don't want them hiring cavalry. Not here. This actually could be a good place for us to build a pasture. So it's just like somewhat central Japan. There's a blacksmith here. So we could hire some good, maybe, Naginata cavalry. 
What are they building here? A school? No, I'm not gonna have any of that. We'll destroy that. Is it limited build slots? Each settlement needs each each region needs to have its own um specialization. So over here, what are we doing? Yeah, just might as well disband this unit and get better ones. Oh, we can actually increase two per turn now. We'll recruit two per turn. So disband you as well. I'm not concerned by the recruitment cost. The upkeep costs the same, so that's fine. Okay, is our military wharf here ready? Let's do port. If I was to build this, what does that give us access to? Firebomb medium ship. Firebomb ships are pretty good, but I don't know how expensive they are. Well, whatever, just build it anyway. It gives us a bit more income. Maybe getting a f couple of firebomb ships inside of a navy would be good. So who are these? The Kitabaka, yeah, the blockade number damn ports. Alright, we're out of money. What are we doing? So yeah, two turns we capture this. Right, let me have a look over here. Good, this is undefended. So he'll, he'll still need a few turns to get through here. So what's that? That's one, two, three, four. Four more turns. Well, that's okay. As long as this guy here is distracted, he won't be able to catch up to us. Because we want to keep him outside of whatever his last region is. Because that way, he just outright disappears. So we actually have share a border with these guys here. So these guys over here. Um, well, get a trade agreement. Look at that there um, of the Fujiwara. So that's good. We could eventually steal wow. all their shit. Listen to your words for a time. Do not waste but also sell them military access. Speak and do not mumble. Honesty and clarity march forwards together in negotiations. Good. Make me lots of cash. Two thousand it is then. This is less factions now. Okay, so with a bit of extra money we can spend that in one of our regions. Let's have a look for something. That looks good. Pretty safe region at the moment. We've got twenty-three foods, so that's good. Sixteen regions. Everything's going pretty well. Moving on. Seems like the Kitabake are beating the Daisuke, which is fine by me. Okay, that's fine. So what's our chances of success against it now? Let's back down. Okay, we've got three regions that are threatened to revolt. Okay, now this region up here, I think we can get rid of the, the two units we've got up here. It'll just save us some money. Yeah, that's um, 
that Allegiant stuff is going away. It's not under any threat right now. I might upgrade it to a fort at some point, but not right now. It's expensive, but that uh, provides a lot of extra wealth from food. Alright, now whether or not we decide to go north or south here depends on your actions. Good stuff. We've gotten pretty lucky with that. All the bad luck we had previously, it's all, it's all uh, being returned to us. So yeah, we don't attack this. So next turn we could steal it. It's good, they're building up some stuff. Building up the roads is good. Help us to move towards their settlement faster. Sounds good to me. Make sure there's no other fuckers in the way. Nothing major. I think there was another army on their way over here, but I don't think I have to worry about it too much. You could bribe this force. It's not worth it, given how much it's going to cost. Keep them busy there. Alright, see so you over here. Like I said, since we're still here recovering, we might as well get better units. Like I said, I do want to get a professional army, but it just takes time. We're still pretty early on in the campaign as well. Because getting elite troops before you're ready is basically like just saying, I give up. Just, just come and kill me now. Because they'll just avoid your armies and kill your settlements. Alright, so... Let's not necessarily wait just for that. We've got access to Samurai Large Ship. So, what's the... There's a hundred crew in that. Attendant Large Ship. I'd probably prefer the Samurai Large Ship. So let's have a look at the difference between the two. It comes with more experience. Oh, actually, that comes with more experience. Um, these have got some abilities. They can whistle shot. I don't think that's that useful. Higher morale. Same missile accuracy. I think we're better off actually getting attendant large ship, to be honest. I mean, it's cheaper. I tell you, what, we get a samurai large ship. It could be sort of like the general, and it takes the same amount of time to recruit. No, don't, don't spend too much on it, because we need to go and get rid of these these pirates wherever the hell they went. Maybe somebody actually took them out. I'll tell you what, we'll get some get some trade ships over here. Cause if they've if they if those pirates are out there, we put some trade ships there, they'll come and get us. Oh, we're gonna take attrition. Oh shit. I can't take this right now. I mean it's not a big deal as long as I don't get attacked. I mean this is there's nothing here. But if I'd stayed just in this region here, we wouldn't have taken any attrition. And it wouldn't have would have made a big difference. Still, just, just keep on at it. Okay, we've got some money. How's all this? Yep, it's fine. Yep, we can upgrade this. Actually, cancel that. Let's get one of the big upgraded food. Because that's, that's quite a lot of extra money. Yeah, go for that. Two turns until then. So if you can succeed two more times, your chances of success will increase. That being said, we should bring her down here so that if any point in time she fails, at least we have a backup bitch to have, have a go at it. Because it's absolutely crucial we keep these guys stuck here. Alright, let's move on. Who the hell are these guys? 
Just dragging everyone to war with the, the dice, okay? Doesn't bother me. The kids are... whatever the fuck, are taking them on. And things I'm getting so powerful now that I probably could take on the rest of Japan. Anyway, they're all busy with their own wars as well. This guy here, he's got a lot of settlements. I only really worry about the ones that are on the border. Because now we can't actually afford a navy. And all that investing early on, that's where it, where it really paid off. Okay, we just hit an hour and a half. But let's see here. What's this? In their cups. So, Grateful Population or Iron Fist? Repression or... Look, the happiness isn't really that big of a deal. So, having having a bit of extra town wealth growth is, is uh, probably better. So, go with Leniency. Now, we can capture this this turn. Which will help him get replenishment. So, he took some damage from attrition. And what's your chance of success? 60%, okay. So, we've got a pretty good chance of... Okay, excellent. Go. Worked again, so we didn't even need you. I mean, you can do that if you want, just to um, get experience, so they don't move anywhere. So he'll make it there next turn. They'll, they'll wipe them out. Should we capture this this turn? Well, yeah, they're not going anywhere, so why not? Wait, are they building anything? No. Then, let's do this. Oh, fuck, it's expensive. We just took their capital, though. So that's their last region, which, of course, since they're a major faction, we cannot take take it with a with an agent. But he's poised to strike. I mean, if we use the movement bug, we can get there right now. That's okay. So yeah, just get rid of the school. Because we, we still need to build a, field bu a food building here. But yeah, I think we can recruit our melee troops from here from now, now on. So, looking at it, we can get sword attendants. The Naginata Levy, they're better than anything else we've got elsewhere. Sword attendants are twice as bloody expensive. We can get mounted samurai here. Still, but they're basically horse archers. I'd actually prefer the mounted Naginata. Which, I still need to figure out how to get them. We've got a trading port here, armorer. Yep, that's good. War horse studs. Sounds good. It's not good for food though, but that's okay. So next turn they die. So we'll... Continue this, because I want to finish them off on this episode. Hang on. What, what's going on over here? Okay, that's an undefended. Yeah, you come down over here. to get rid of them. In fact, they're doomed because they don't... We don't need to distract them one more time. Might as well get that. Um, because they can't move during this end turn, and next turn we've got them. Then that's it. That's their last region. So as for you, you come over here, get ready to take, take their region here. You can probably do that next turn. Have they got anything up here? Nothing to be too concerned about. Because we're expanding really quickly. How, how soon are we going to get... Oh, realm Divides on the way. But that being said, we're just about at war with anyone, everyone anyway. So who the hell are these guys here? They're the Doi. They just declared war on us. So they've got nine regions. So we're nearly twice... Well, yeah, twice as strong as them. Alright. 
Alright, let's spend... Oh, we're, I've got no money anyway. Just, um... Send them back up to here. And over here. Okay, get rid of these two. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next one. Is there anything else that I forgot to do? Yeah. Even though we probably don't need that now, just might as well get it since we've, we've put a few turns into it anyway. Let's move on. They had a small army, but that doesn't matter since we just bypass it anyway. Doesn't really concern me. I can tell the roads have been built up nicely there. Yeah, I think the Dice Cave only have one region left. So next tech I want, what do we need? Let, let's go for this. There, our 100% bonus has now expired. And one extra defense for all units will really help our trashy crap. Okay, before we go and take them out, let's just get an idea of exactly how badly we cluster fucked them. I mean, he's been stuck there for like five turns. Agents are so powerful on this. So this guy, he's Tyra, um, he's increasing his influence here. We'll, we'll have to do something to stop that. Otherwise the, uh, the region's public order is going to get very bad. But it's all under control at the moment, largely thanks to grateful population. So then, is there any last words you want to have? Well, fuck it, let's just kill them. No point fighting that manually, obviously. And then they all just disappear. Yes, they do. We could turn the... We could turn them into a vassal, but fuck that. And there we go. They're completely wiped out. Gone for good. So every little thing that happened here added to just a total victory over them. Despite the fact that they, you know, amb well, we ambushed them and they, they beat us pretty badly over here. I mean, we're at full strength now, or just about, with an even better army than we had before. We've got control of their recruiting province, which has got all their good units. And even on normal tax rate, we're making reasonable cash. We've got another gold mine over here as well. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 4 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.